these are the two wheels and like i said they look good and goo stuff that i used last time it took some of the paint off but it didn't get it all the way off you feel me see we got like in there and then a little bit around the ring so yeah it didn't get the wheels perfectly i should have got a mask too i got some covid masks left over i don't know where they yet though somewhere in the house y'all see some of the white so we're gonna let this sit probably like 20 minutes you know what i'm saying let it all work it's magic and then if y'all look there i got my water hose i'm gonna use the water hose this time instead of the pressure washer because it, it should come right off if i watch the video right the dude all he did was spray it let it sit and then he he used the water hose too he didn't use the pressure washer so i'm not gonna put a pressure washer out again all right man so pressure washer ran out of gas so i'm gonna have to call it here for today so whenever i make some more money and decide i want to actually spend some more money on getting some paint stripper then that's when i'll come back bring some gas with me and everything and we're gonna rock out like that but bro these wheels look so good what's up guys it's your boy deuce back with another video now this video is the part two of trying to strip that paint off the cutlass 20 inch wire wheels spoke wheels whichever one you want to call them same thing so yeah this video is going that's that's all we're going to be doing you know what i'm saying i'm gonna pull out the wheels now i only got one and got one can of this paint stripper can spray because i wanted to make sure it would work you know what i'm saying this can by itself was 20 dollars. so if it worked then i'm gonna go and get another can and then i'll finish it up but yeah i got this just that one can now i don't know if y'all checked out part one but part one when i did the with that little goo in the tall cans that you gotta like pour out and stuff and use a paintbrush that didn't work good you know what i'm saying it did not work good at all so i went ahead and like i said got this from walmart because walmart was the only store selling paint stripper and stuff so i had to go ahead and just do it like that so i got that from walmart i watched the video on i, I was looking for the i think it's called per periflex periflex it's in the blue and white can you know what i'm saying not that one but let me see if i can find a picture of it i think it's called per periflex preflex maybe hold on i'm trying to find it paint stripper No, I can't find it. It's in a blue and like white and orange can, I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? But regardless, I ain't worried about it. You feel me? I couldn't find that can. Walmart, that was the only one Walmart had. Pop afraid I, they didn't have no paint stripping can. So, yeah, just got that and we're going to rock out with that. So, I got to pull the wheels out and then we're going to get to work. You feel me? Maybe that'll be enough for two wheels at least. Hopefully two wheels. You feel me? Hopefully I can get two wheels done with that. But... Make sure I hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn that post notification bell to all the way up, be notified every time I drop. Share the channel, share this video, let's keep growing and elevating together. And I'll catch y'all as soon as I get the wheels pulled out and we're gonna start getting to work. Hopefully this one work, you feel me? Hopefully. All right, y'all, so if y'all hear like dogs and stuff barking in the background, I'm sorry, but we in the back now. I got two of the wheels out. I didn't pull all of them out because like I said, I don't think this whole can is gonna let me get all four of them wheels. So I just, like I said, I only got one can just so I could test it out to see if this gonna actually work. If this actually, this can actually works, then I'm gonna go back to Walmart, go and get probably like one or two more cans, however, however many more that I actually need. I'm gonna go and get some, you feel me? But yeah, this is the paint stripping can I got. And supposedly it's supposed to work because like I said, I watched a video of a dude using that can and the blue and like orange and white can, like pure, I, I forgot what it's called, but yeah they, they, he was also using that and it took the paint right off the wheels like easily so these are the two wheels and like i said they look goo that goo stuff that i used last time it took some of the paint off but it didn't get it all the way off you feel me see we got like in there and then a little bit around the ring so yeah it didn't get the wheels perfectly but yeah you feel me and this is another one got some of the spokes but yeah so all i'm supposed to do I'm, if i read this correctly so oh, i gotta go get some gloves too so i'm supposed to shake it well 
whole can upright. Arrow. Allow time for removal to work. Do not rush it. So, yeah, all I'm supposed to do literally is just spray it. I have to shake it up and spray it. So, I gotta go get some gloves off a guy. I needed gloves. You know what? I just bring y'all with me. I got gloves right in my charger. You feel what I'm saying? Lock Chevy, get my charger keys out, unlock the charger. All right, charger unlocked now. All right. Uh, I use these older gloves. I need to throw these away. They ain't no good. And I got plenty more of y'all look there. I got a brand new pair and another pair. So, yeah, I don't even need them gloves no more. Or these ones, I mean. So I'm going to use them this time and then throw them away after this. I got plenty of gloves. But, yeah, man, like I said, this should be fairly quick and easy and simple. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to sit y'all right here. Yeah. That looks like a good angle. Now I can put my gloves on. Like I said, I'm going to throw these gloves away afterwards. I forgot I even put them back in the car. And then it said to... I hope my camera's on over here. You know what? Let me see if I can sit y'all here. And then we just... We'll just zoom in. Alright. Yeah. We can do it like that. Sit y'all in the shade. And zoom in out. So, shake it up very well. I should have got a mask too. I got some COVID masks left over. I don't know where they at though. Somewhere in the house. Should pan that good. Oh yeah, it's already a lot better than using that goo. Alright, let that one sit and let's do this other one real quick. coated pretty good and I still got like half a can left alright so I got like half a can left but I also still need to get the back of the wheels so let me zoom back out so like I said I still got about half a can left in this little paint stripper can I feel like it's about right there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I still, like I said, I still gotta do the, the actual back of the spokes and stuff. But if y'all look, y'all see some of the white. So we're gonna let this sit probably like 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Let it all work. It's magic. And then if y'all look there, I got my water hose. I'm gonna use the water hose this time instead of the pressure washer because it should come right off. If I watched the video right, dude, all he did was spray it, let it sit. 
and then he he used the water hose too he didn't use the pressure washer so i'm not gonna put a pressure washer out again and we're just gonna let him sit and do his job so yeah i'm finna turn y'all off and it's gonna be a quick little second for y'all you know what i'm saying but for me i'm gonna let it sit for about 15 like i said 20 minutes and then yeah come back to y'all see if it worked so y'all just stay tuned and we're going to see how, how everything turned out. Like I said, if it worked, I'm going to go back to Walmart, go and buy another can. So far, it, it seemed like that one can going to do both of the wheels front and back of the spokes. So I'm probably going to go grab one more can from Walmart, finish this up, and then this project will be done. All I have to do is get the little adapter for the wheels. Well, I just need one. I need one more red one because I got one, one red, two white. So I got to get one more red. And then, um, then I got to order the tires. 20 inch tires so yeah and i'm not gonna order the tires or none though until i get the car back so I'm, I'm waiting on the tires i don't want to mount them up and then i don't even have the car right now so the tires gonna wait but yeah like i said let that sit then i'll come back to y'all once it's done sitting you know what i'm saying like 20 minutes like i said so catch y'all in a second all right y'all so i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all this paint stripper worked 10 20 30 times better than that uh, that goo stuff that I was using, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, go ahead and look. I'm gonna have to go and get probably like two more cans of that, you feel me? But yeah, I started, look at this one. All this is ready to come off. I used the, my wire brush and was wire brushing most of it, but I couldn't get all the way in the grooves, you know what I'm saying? So, I went ahead and pulled the pressure washer out as well. And now I gotta spread down again so I can get all that green off. But if y'all look and see, all of it, bro. And that's from the pressure washer. But yeah, like I said, I was using my wire brush and my fingers to try and get as much off as possible. But look, just come right, right off. So like I said, I'm definitely going to go and get a, like two more cans and do some more coats just so I can make sure everything is off. Cause it was eating through the clear coat first. If y'all look and see like right there, it was eating through the clear coat first. Then it started going through the green. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to go and get two more cans. At least two more. You feel me? And finish these wheels up. I'm going to use one more can on these two wheels. Then one, one can should be plenty for the other wheels. But like I said, it was eating through the clear coat first. Then it started getting to the green. So, yeah. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to definitely do another can on this one. But, yeah, I'm done with this, with this, um, these wheels. Now I know what, what to go and get from Walmart. Look at all that. All this ready to come off. I just got to turn the pressure washer on, which is the struggle. That's the only part I'm, that's struggling. You feel me? Have to try and turn it a little bit. Slow. Sometime this thing want to start, sometime it don't, you know? So, yeah, let me go ahead and try to do, that, do this again and then show y'all what I come with for the end result. But... Yeah, I'm going to probably finish these two wheels off camera and then we'll do probably a part three or finish everything up on a part three, something like that. Honestly, I don't know yet what I want to do, but yeah, definitely finna finish that up and I'll come back to y'all for the end, show y'all the end result with what I got so far, you know? So like I said, this one, def this definitely worked a lot better than that other stuff that I used. I'm glad I went ahead and got this, so catch y'all in a second. All right, man, so pressure washer ran out of gas so i'm gonna have to call it here for today so whenever i make some more money and decide i want to actually spend some more money on getting some paint stripper then that's when i'll come back bring some gas with me and everything and we're gonna rock out like that but bro these wheels look so good look at this bro so this is the one i got really good i'm gonna have to like i said come back i'm gonna really need like three or four more cans and them look these little cans is 20 dollars a piece it's gonna be like a hundred dollars in paint stripper you know that's I'm, I'm not trying to spend that right now like i said i can wait these wheels not even going on the car yet so i'm not too stressed about it but like i said i'm gonna have to do like one more spray because i really need to get up in the ring area and then i need to also get the back side i don't even think the back side that bad but yeah it is it's still all green back here i'm gonna need like two more cans Really two cans for each wheel is probably how I'm gonna have to, or one can for each wheel. So I'm gonna probably need like three more at the at the least. You know what I'm saying? Three more at the least. I can probably use one more 
getting the back side of both of these. This one I didn't get to finish spraying because I ran out of spray. But yeah, now what I'm finna do is put the wheels back up. Like I said, I'm done with this little project until I decide to spend some more money on it. I don't want to spend no money on it right now, so I'ma wait. But bro, look at this, how, how good they came out. These 20s are gonna look heat on there. So I'm finna put the pressure washer up, pull the water hose off of the pressure washer, and I'ma hose down the sidewalk, get all this green off of there. And yeah, I'ma call it a day. That's gonna be it for today. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like doing no more work today. But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think, how y'all feel about the wheels not being green no more. And if I really want to, I can sell these wheels after I get all the paint off of them. Sell them and make some money because people love these wire wheels down here where I live anyways. You feel me? So I could probably get rid of them. Ask for like five, six hundred dollars for them. Nothing wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? They just need to be sealed. Which is not hard at all. I plan on sell selling them myself. I might get some tires and throw the tires on it and sell them for a band. I don't know. But, yeah. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about them. They look, to me, they look better chrome and not painted. Even though the chrome is dingy now because of the paint being on there for so long and everything. But, maybe we end up painting them later on just for, for just for fun, you know what I'm saying? So, other than that, though, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about the chrome. Finger, you put the wheels up and put the pressure washer up. Then holes down the sidewalk, and I'll catch y'all in a second for the outro, so y'all stay tuned and leave y'all opinions in the comments. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of this one. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all heard the AC blowing in the background. I, it, it got too hot in here, so I just needed something to blow really quick so I can finish this outro. But, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all liked the wheels. I think the chrome look a thousand times better than that green that won't match nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that paint needs to come off, especially if I want to sell the wheels. Nobody going to want no green wheels, especially if they car not green. They might want the spoke wheels, but they're colored already. So they probably don't want that to happen. So, yeah, that's why I said regardless, I want to take the paint off just in case if I want to sell them wheels, even though they they not technically mine. But my dad won't care. Could you feel me? Because they 20s. He don't worry. He don't use 20s no more. All his cars got 22s and up. So the 20s, he feel like it's a little too small. But the only reason why I want to put them on a cut, I'm probably not even going to put them on my colors, to be honest with y'all. You feel me? I'm probably going to leave the rally wheels on there until I get a custom set of wheels. I just wanted some type of rims on that car instead of some stock looking wheels, you know? So that was, this was, that was only my main focus, you know? But this little project been fun. I've been learning and figuring out what products to actually use and what products not to use. And now I know, you know, I'm gonna go back and get probably, like I said, three more of them cans, which is gonna be $60, which is gonna hurt me. I'm not, I don't wanna do that, but it's gonna have to get done regardless because this project I started on, I can't just not finish it. You know, I gotta go ahead and finish it. So yeah, man, it's, it's another project, you know, but at least, at least I figure out what I can use, you know, what products to get and what products that I can use and just go from there. You feel me? So, yeah, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed, though. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to auto where y'all be notified every time I drop. Share the channel. Share this video. Let's keep growing and elevating together. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Keep God first and God bless. Drive safe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.